Huel Hot and Savory have released Spaghetti Carbonara to their range. This is the one flavour I'd hope they'd do, so it's great to see. I was super impressed by the cheese and mac. You can check out that video review I did earlier here. So I'm really interested to see how this one works out. Can you really have a spaghetti carbonara as a kind of pot meal? And no, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this with my own cash. So let's find out what's in it. Is it any good? And what's it actually taste like? I've been testing and tasting meal replacements for over seven years now and the hot and savoury range from Huel was a game changer for me. My mac and cheese review has been seen by over 70,000 people and I was really impressed. But I always wondered whether they'd actually do a carbonara version. Well, it seems great minds think alike as Huel have released their spaghetti carbonara to their hot and savoury range. If you're new to Complete Nutrition products, this basically has all the stuff you'd expect to see, say, in a conventional Complete Nutritional shake. You know, it's got high in protein, it's high in fibre, it's got all your essential vitamins and minerals that your body needs from a meal, all in a tasty and quick sort of pot noodle style meal. She'll describe the hot and savoury range as a delicious, nutritionally complete food that's high in protein, fiber and essential fats and contains a balanced macro split of 38, 30, 25, 7. That's carbohydrate, fat, protein and fiber. There's phytonutrients and all 26 essential vitamins and minerals. Additionally, it contains no lactose or any animal products. There's no soy, no GMO. Pure Hot and Savoury basically meet the UK and EU reference for nutrient intake, i.e. the recommended values that the EU thinks that we should be consuming in terms of nutrients as a minimum. What that ratio basically means is that 38% of the energy comes from carbohydrates, 30% from fats, 25% from proteins, and 7% from fiber. In addition to the 26 essential vitamins and minerals, there are essential omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids in the kind of optimum amounts, including MCT oil. This is always good for the brain and cells. And that's derived from flaxseed, sunflower, and coconut oil. The 26 essential vitamins and minerals are delivered at at least the minimum recommended intake for a meal of this size, or in some cases, even more, to ensure that you're getting those most essential important vitamins and minerals. And then as I mentioned there, the phytonutrients, which are substances found in plant foods, which whilst not essential, may, they say, claim, exhibit some health benefits like disease risk uh, prevention, but you need to look up and do your research on that. The point is that junk food diets are often deficient in phytonutrients and thus, you know, like consumers and stuff miss out on invaluable health benefits and antioxidant effects. Huel's Hot and Savory's fundamental ingredients are all plant-based foods, which are already phytonutrient rich. And so those benefits are passed on to anyone consuming it. Additionally, the meals also include some extra phytonutrients to optimize the Huel Hot and Savory formula and to complement the antioxidant nutrient vitamins C and E and selenium. I'll put up all the ingredients so you can see what's in it, but basically for spaghetti uh, carbonara, the headline ingredients are dried spaghetti pasta, which is from durum wheat and semolina. It's pea protein carbonara style seasoning blend, which basically is a sort of a dairy-free creamer, sunflower oil, glucose syrup, modified starch. Then you've got yeast extract, parsley, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and vegan bacon style pieces with textured vegetable protein and pea protein. You can check out all the ingredients as I said. Well, there you go, that's all the science. But at the end of the day, it's about convenience and taste. So, let's check it out. So here we go, I used the pot method. You can make it in the microwave, but this is basically two scoops and then 250 mils of uh, boiling water from the kettle. There's a marker in here, but I did measure it out, but it, and it's actually to the marker. So you just you don't have to measure out the water, just fill it to the marker inside, put the top on loosely, leave for five minutes, and hopefully 
um, it should be good. I'll also test the microwave version, sometimes with these hot and savory. Um, I think it varies which ones are the best. What I'm surprised about actually is that the, the veggie bacon bits, I'll show you there if I can, there you get these sort of big chunky veggie bacon bits there, just there. Um, they're quite um, good and you can see the spaghetti is quite kind of loose and spaghetti uh, spaghetti like to give you sort of an impression what it looks like. It's never going to look very good in the pot but you can just get a, an idea. So yeah it's got lots of spaghetti bits. Obviously they make the spaghetti quite small and thin so that it cooks in a short space of time but the chunks of sort of veggie bacon are quite impressive and then you can sort of see the white sort of creamy sauce in there as well. Let's give it a taste see what it's like. Yeah, certainly the spaghetti sort of al dente, the carbonara sauce, it feels a bit watery in the carbonara sauce, but not too much, it's quite nice, it's quite a good sort of flavour mix. Um, I don't think I got any of the, the bacony bit, the veggie, the veggie bacon bits, let's try with this one. I'm getting more spaghetti than anything else. It does feel a bit watery, um, the, the flavour just uh, the flavour feels a bit um, shallow. Mm. But I got the, I got a bit, yeah, a bit more of the chewy veggie bacon bits there and that's quite nice. I mean it's alright actually, it's not too bad. I'm pleasantly surprised at how well the spaghetti's actually turned out considering it's you know you're just leaving it for five minutes in a pot with boiling water. I'd also be interested to see what the microwave version turns out and I'll kind of let you know a bit later but um, overall it's not too bad. I think I prefer the mac and cheese slightly. I was looking forward to this. I could just do with the sauce being a bit less watery I think uh, overall but generally it's not too bad. That's my kind of basic impression of the Huel hot and savoury spaghetti carbonara. It's not too bad. Still prefer the uh, mac and cheese, but this is a, another good alternative to their hot and savoury range that they do. So there you go. As I said, I bought this with my own money, my, my own well-earned money. Now previously, Huel do often send me some review samples, but for some reason they didn't send me this one, so since many of my subscribers have been asking for a review, I just splashed my own cash and bought this. Uh, which brings me to the price. So price-wise, it works out for the spaghetti carbonara about £20 per bag, which gives seven meals about £2.85 per meal if you subscribe. If you make a one-off purchase, that increases to £22 or £3.17 per meal. Now, the one big drawback is, of course, you have to order a minimum of three bags. So you're kind of outlaying 50 to 60 quid, whatever you're going to do, as a minimum. Sure, it's not cheap, but it's super convenient and really healthy. Much more than, say, a pot noodle and still cheaper than your local shop meal deal. And, of course, significantly of more nutritional value. As I mentioned, one of the drawbacks with Huel is you do have to buy at least three bags. And as a one-off purchase, that's 60 pound. That's a lot to find out that you don't actually like it. And of course, taste is subjective. I might like it, but plenty of people might not. I love the mac and cheese, but there was one comment on my review from someone who hated it and then was left with two, two and a bit bags of the stuff. Anyway, there you go. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then please hit the likes because I like it, YouTube likes it, and it helps people like you find great content like this. And if you are new here, do me the great honor, Aragona Gazimus, of hitting that subscribe button, toggling that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I go live with content just like this. And if you are interested in more complete nutritional product reviews, then why don't you check out the reviews I've put right over here. These ones here. Check them out. I think you'll enjoy them. Thanks for watching.